Hey, my name is Robert Morrison and I am the founder of Axis Drones and today I have with me the Wallet Drone. The Wallet Drone is the world's smallest quadcopter. It fits inside of the controller itself, which is the size of a wallet, it fits perfectly into your pocket. Not only does the quadcopter fit inside of the remote control, but it actually uses the remote control's batteries to charge itself while not in use, making it go virtually anywhere that you can. This is the most portable, compact quadcopter on the market. So uh, we've had probably about five or six different remote control planes, but the wallet drone uh, seems to last forever. I Maybe mean, it's the size, of the, the, the small size of it, but it flew longer than just about any other copter we've ever used. The Wallet Drone is available in four unique colors, blue, green, yellow, and orange. Flying on a paper airplane must be so magical. With your help, magical is about to become un freaking believable This is Shy a pilot, an industrial designer, and an inventor. He is a world-known expert in cool stuff that flies. Two years ago, Shai was challenged by his friend to create a smartphone-controlled paper airplane. Thanks to 21,000 backers on Kickstarter, he made it happen. People all over the world are now controlling paper planes from their smartphones with Power Up 3. Shai proudly came back to his friend and his friend said, wow, that is magical. But you can't put a live streaming camera on a paper airplane. Shai thought for a minute and said, Challenge accepted. Now, after two years of testing and prototyping, meet Shai's new unfreaking believable invention. Power Up FPV. The first ever paper airplane drone with a live streaming camera. Using state-of-the-art technology, Power Up FPV lets you see what your plane sees. Put it in different words, you feel as if you are flying through the air, riding a paper airplane. Yes, Power Up FPV makes your regular paper plane look like a kitty next to a lion, riding a T-Rex. Just take a piece of paper, fold it into a plane, and attach the module. Put your phone in the cardboard viewer, and you're ready to fly. The camera streams live video to an app on your very own smartphone, sitting in the head-mounted goggles. To control your plane, just tilt your head lightly. And there's also a gamepad mode for when you feel like handheld control. Power up FPV's camera can swivel around. That's how you also get wing view and back view, so you can see this defining moment in your life. Look, it's you flying a power up FPV. Shai wanted to create the most immersive real time experience. That's why he partnered with the good folks at Parrot, world experts in wireless streaming and creators of the AR drone. With their help, Power Up FPV streams live video over Wi-Fi from over 300 feet. To make the experience really smooth, Power Up FPV has a ton of sensors and an onboard computer with real-world autopilot mode, making it nearly uncrashable. Nearly. Power Up FPV is ready for production.
We're at the very beginning of understanding how most of our planet works. Jacques Cousteau co-developed the aqualung in the 1940s. And it wasn't until the 60s and 70s that he really showed the world with his eyes and with his lenses and with his stories of what was down there. Because we have such a short history of ocean exploration, we have a very singular idea of what that looks like. And for a lot of people, it's a big man submersible being launched off the back of a ship. But it doesn't have to look like that. Our goal with OpenROV has always been to make an exploration tool that everyone can use. The new version of OpenROV is the best one we've ever built. It's more maneuverable in the water. It's easier to build. You can build it more quickly, and it's a lot more durable. We want this to be a serious exploration tool. Here's how it works. On board the ROV are six batteries, which supply voltage to it and allow it to run for about two hours. It has a USB web camera, which sends video up to the surface via a tether. Once the signal gets up to the surface, there's a little adapter box, which you can plug an ethernet cable into, and it allows your computer's web browser to connect to the ROV. It's that simple. That extreme portability allows people to go to places that have never been explored because it's too hard to haul scuba gear there or a much larger ROV. So what we've created is something that's not only low cost and easy to build, but also something that can really get into the places that we've never seen before. Building a small, compact, durable, capable ROV is an incredible challenge. And there's really no way that we could have done it ourselves without this big community of people to help us build it. And the cool side effect is that we've developed this whole global network of like-minded searchers. So when you plug in your ROV, you're not just plugging it into a computer. You're actually plugging into this big community of like-minded explorers. I am so excited to see what people use the open ROV for. There's so much exploration to be had out there. All you need is a laptop, the ROV, and a place to explore.